Fenton again seeing an awful lot of it. And they're in again here. This is Con O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan gets it back and the ball is in. Four minutes into the second half, Kieran Kilkenny. With the ball in, lovely hands from Scully. Fenton, goal. Louths just can't get their hands on the ball. And here's Paddy Small, the Dublin substitute. Small to Michael Darren McCauley, goal number three. Wave, it's just blue wave after blue wave from Dublin in Port Leash. Michael Darren McCauley, lovely flick. And the ball is in the back of the net from Cormac Costello. He moves on to one goal and 12 points. 4-16 to 5. It's some statement. Michael Darren McCauley. He's enjoyed himself since coming in. Here's Kevin McManaman. He'll want to make a point to Jim Gavin and others. McManaman been challenged by Bevan Duffy. It's come out to Philly McMahon. And McMahon scores. And they are on their way to nine in a row they're on their way to their 18th consecutive championship victory matching Wexford's 100 year old record and that lead could grow even further brilliant goal from Con O'Callaghan it's the icing on the cake it's nine out of nine and they're just pulling off into the distance watch the pass watch the hand pass when we have a look back at it brilliant timing Dean Rock isn't it it is just puts it beautifully in front of him. Forward, now it's Jack McCaffrey. Remember that goal in 2013, he's in again. McCaffrey just took too long over it. McCaffrey, goal! He just loves scoring against Cork. In 2013, you saw that goal earlier on. He was bursting onto the scene as a 19-year-old. Con O'Callaghan, and now it's Cormac Costello. They could walk it in. There's the goal from Michael Darren McCauley. Right at the death at the end of the first. Caffrey makes a run forward. Matty Taylor has gone with him, really tracking him tightly. But McCaffrey's got through. McCaffrey lets it off to Con O'Callaghan, juggling with it. O'Callaghan twisting and turning. Niles Scully, goal. A few times in the game, they've tried to walk it in, and that's pretty much what they did there. Oh, and there's a bad kick out. This is going to get really bad for Cork and really good for Dublin as Piron Kilkenny punishes the mistake oh and look at Brian Fenton he's got away from a tired Tomas Clancy Fenton fabulous goal Daly with the breaking ball hoovered up by McCaffrey with blue shirts attacking in a wave now Scully across and it's buried in the air by Dean Rock ruthless from Dublin once the space was opened up as always they took the right options well ruthless is the word you only word to describe that ball broke in the middle of the field Jack McCaffrey and within two or three seconds he was down on the 20 metre line giving the pass outside to uh, to Kilkenny Scully everyone looking for the right player in the right position We're winning nine in a row for Mitchell level here's Michael Darrow McCauley at two and one might go alone nearly takes the net off its hinges and he gets his third goal of the championship yeah, yet another goal for us coming in possession in the middle of the field Fintan Craig has it a very strong tackle fair competitive tackle by Brian Howard stripped the ball off him and once that he had won that ball Dublin electric in their movement just running that goal two three options and Michael Darren McCauley there just uh, just put the afterburners on straight through the middle fantastic score but again and it just seems wrong that the winner has to play a day earlier then he gallant comes out in Sean Bugler he really had to Sean Bugler is bearing down and goal putting across to Ogawa Ogawa is back in business he's been waiting all year long for that moment and the Hill 16 on tour they've moved to Healy Park over congratulate the big full forward from Timberlode Sing Street good score Sean Bugler the most impressive player on the field for me uh, did the right thing yet again his, his decision making in the final third has been exceptional uh, give it in to Ono Garner not the very crossbar touch to me here's Paul Mannion Kieran Kilkenny and Kilkenny sliding it in they're in Con O'Callaghan goal fabulous finish from Con O'Callaghan just the start Dublin wanted at the beginning of the second half Mayo the exact opposite Dublin lead well 
O'Callaghan just powered Lee Keegan out of the way, throws him to the ground, and that's how he got the inside position. Just there, you see Keegan on the ground. Brilliant finish on the near post, along along the ground. Uh, it was a big half time for both managers, and you have to say, Dublin have come out screaming and fighting. Mannion and O'Callaghan, they went in opposite directions. Here is Con O'Callaghan, he wants another goal, and he's got it. Same side. Beautiful finish, almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Watch the step there, watch the step here. Brilliant piece of work. He's going to take his point, and will take the goal. And near side again, brilliant, brilliant execution. Big gap, big, big gap, and how quickly Dublin pile on uh, the scores when they're in top form. Niall Scully belts the ball into Con O'Callaghan. That big left hand went up after it. Now Kieran Kilkenny as Dublin head for home. Kilkenny advantage been played. Oh no, Donahue marking him. Now it's Brian Fenton. He's in. This will finish it. Over and out. Another goal. 3.13 to 1.8. Ten minutes to go. They've just pushed on and Mayo haven't been able to cope. Well, you have to keep your eye on Kieran Kilkenny. He kept that move alive. A lovely... Uh, Look and go, he didn't look, he fakes to the left, but doesn't take it. And that's a midfielder, Dara, and low on the floor, back of the net. As we know. Cluxton once again surveying the scene here just to see the optimum place. He's targeting Brian Howard again. Brilliant oh. leap in the air. Up over Gavin White to win that. That's superb. Kieran Kilkenny. Beautifully inside to Scully. They're moving and it's McCaffrey. McCaffrey drills it home. It's another goal for Jack McCaffrey. He got one here against Cork in the Super 8. And he's got one now in the 19th minute. And Dublin lead by one, four to five points. This is unreal, Ger, because the Curry defence had pushed up and left their markers in the hope of just all overplaying the kick out. But Howard's catch opens up everything. And what a magnificent pass just to McCaffrey. All the pace taken out of him. And, and McCarthy buries it into the net. What a score. By a solitary point, both sides would settle for a solitary point win here. It's Owen Merchant bursting forward immediately. Moran trying to catch up with him. Merchant still going. What a goal! What a goal! His first ever time to score anything in the championship. The second half surge, it seems, has begun. Power and pace. It is so difficult to mark it. Might have been caught up for steps, I thought, in the build-up, but uh, ref lets him off. But once he sees the goal, he ain't going to miss. He's so strong, so forceful, so dangerous. 